But today we were made aware of this group right here, Melanin Gamers. So the world's first ever rating system to identify toxicity in online gaming, Melanin Gamers and Help Keep Watch have launched the first rating system identifying online gaming toxicity. We'll break down this glorious shit show, the toxicity rating right here. <laughs> Fuck off with the graphic content. Shut up. It's a video game. Holy shit. And that plays the creepy music. Guess at the tone. Oh, uh, we didn't know that. One and two. But, 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 but who's the game's online community? Be there. Bitch, Animal Crossing. <laughs> this just makes me want to play like all these games now. Well, now it starts with the music and it's like dun, 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 dun. Yeah. the first game, the first game they show is Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Know, dude, <laughs> they have Animal Crossing New Horizons in this list. I mean, Smash you gotta Bros. Get rid is of the pretty toxic well known gamers. for it, a yeah, lot of uh, Smash Bros. is pretty. But, you know. There's the normie Smash Bros. kind of crowd, and then there's the hardcore Smash player crowd that goes to tournaments and all that shit. No offense to my Smash Bros. peeps, okay. But that's like one step up from a furry convention, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, it really is. Like, yeah. it's wild. I know some of them, too, all right? But they have Animal Crossing New Horizons as one of their games that they're going to tell this art. <laughs> Was it toxic because they killed a fucking chicken right. in Minecraft? Like, seriously? Yeah, you Holy can't kill chickens. Shit, it's true. dude. It's going to offend oh Peter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The fact they show Mortal Kombat, like, that's the whole point of the game. I guess they're just showing examples of the different ratings, is what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. They're showing examples of why ESRB even exist to begin with. Starting to sound like I mean, my house during I mean, Fortnite. All right. <laughs> there ain't a single gamer is going to watch this and be like, we need to rethink our language. And these lobbies are like, hell yeah, let's go. Oh my God. Yeah, your mother's a fucking adult. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a throwback. That's the type of shit you hear. That's Jerry funny. says that's Free that's lobby and fucking play. Modern Warfare 2. Your mama's yeah, a whole you fucking your sister. Everybody's a fucking fucking Everybody. <laughs> That's a throwback. <laughs> they have sex with your whole I family. I kind of respect it, if I'm be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I, have not play, I have not played Call of Duty since the whole Nick Merckx thing happened. Seeing that they have Call of Duty rated as the most toxic game right now is like, yeah, I want to start playing again. <laughs> like, yeah. it's all it's done is made me want to start playing COD again. Like, that's not even that know. good. No, nah, dude. Well, no, but like, that's the thing. All this does is like, this makes me go, Hey, uh, I'm looking for a game. I need a little bit of racism, a little bit of sexism. Uh, what does the toxic meter say? Yeah, I'm looking for more like in the 90s on my racism meter. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's what I was telling Jay this morning, man. Yeah. These are rookie numbers. We got to yeah. bump these up. I know. It's... You know that every community is now going to like unironically try to bump these numbers up on purpose, right? Like they understand what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I would, yeah it win. would make me want to get our game. Yeah, get that game yeah. to the top. Like, let's, let's get Fortnite to 100%. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Let's go. Let's get those numbers up. This is so ridiculous. Yeah, call me stupid. 62 for mine. Really? Bro. Call me stupid? Why did you put that in there? Like, listen, that's supposed to show you toxicity. Here we go. 16. Yeah, call me stupid. Ooh. Whoa. 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 Call worse. me stupid. Oh, no. <laughs> That's tough right there. It doesn't make any sense because in most of these online games, you're in party chats with your friends, so you don't even hear the enemy exactly. players. Anyway. That's exactly. what I was saying, man. In Fortnite, it's like it's just trash you, talk. You're, it's not like you're joining up on a squad. Like if you're playing with somebody, you're playing with your friends. Yeah. And all yeah. you hear is them anyway. 
And, yeah. and and everybody that's a gamer knows, like, you kind of got to be a psychopath to go into game chat anyway. <laughs> like, I mean, you either it's either you got to be a psycho or you got to be ready for what's about to happen. It's like that meme uh, where it's like entering the comment section where he's putting the hazmat suit on. That's going into an open game chat. You just have to mentally prepare that everybody's going to sleep with your mom. There's going to be a lot of N words. There's going to be a lot of F words. And that's just how it is. I was on I was on uh, side scrollers today. We're talking about this, too. And like. All you have to do is just mute the things like you don't have to hear any of it. And I just don't understand why these things even exist to begin with. Like this is just going to get clowned off the Internet by everybody. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, it, hey, uh, uh, melanin gamers or whatever. If you really want to take a stand, tell people that you're taking a stand against music and microphone guy in game chat. OK, that's something you can <laughs> oh, unify yeah, the, the whole fucking oh, Internet yeah. on. If you're like, we stand against music and microphone guy yeah, in game worst. chat. That's real toxicity, okay? Because nobody likes that fucking guy, okay? He's the worst. Nothing else is a problem. But yeah, this is going to get clowned just like Bully Hunters. Like, it's only annoying when you hear people in the background with like kids yeah. crying and stuff exactly. on their backs. Yeah. Yeah. Or the guy that has his fan blasting in his. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I was seen. <laughs> okay. You're like pots and pans and shit. And you're trying to play a game. You just mute everybody. Yes. Hey, yeah. hey, Malcolm, that's good. I'm glad you feel seen. That's good. <laughs> um, do you, do, are you seen from which side? The the abuse side or the abuser side? And do I need to call on the bully hunters? That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a couple of bully hunters in my lobby. So if you go over, if you go over to their website. Each rating was created by surveying hundreds of gamers and represents the average amount of racism, gender <laughs> discrimination, violence towards others, crude humor, and controlled substance conversation experienced while playing online. Call of Duty is 78% toxic. That's weak. Fortnite. I need to start playing Fortnite more because uh, we only got 69%. Only got 69% racism. We got I just started that. playing in a month ago. Amount. Yeah, we yeah. got to stop. We got to we got to get those numbers I'll work up. On it. What is what is the one thing that all of these games have in common? Brand recognition and popularity. But was got Animal Crossing in it? How the fuck is Animal Crossing? <laughs> I hate okay, that one. I, is that like the control or something? <laughs> Did you use Animal Crossing in this in this uh, experiment? <laughs> Goodness, I think in Animal Crossing you could visit other people's farm and step on it or something, right? Uh, animal Crossing is the most toxic game. Wow. Right, I know you can literally go to people's islands and run over their flowers. Oh my, oh my yeah. gosh, that's so tough. Uh, not only that, but Tom Nook just steals all of your bells. Uh, Isabel is oh. an alcoholic. Okay, I know people say that that is tea, it's not iced tea. All right, it's whiskey. She is <laughs> she's an alcoholic. Uh, they, they both conspire to steal all of your bells and leave you homeless. Taxation is theft. It's awful uh, in Animal Crossing. It's just, it's yeah. crazy. It should, need, be the, need to... it should be the most toxic game on this list. It should be at 100%. It should be at toxic. the very top. Animal Crossing being <laughs> anywhere near this list is just absolutely laughable. Crazy. Again, yeah, so, I mean, wild. you've got, obviously, you got Call of Duty, Fortnite, Minecraft. These are massively popular titles. That's why those are the focus. Then, obviously, you've got Valorant and Apex Legends. So, these are, like, some of the most played games. And that's all they did. All they did was look to see what are the most played games on Twitch and Kick. Those are the games we're going to focus in on. I'm guessing because Animal Crossing has sold like 40 million copies, they probably thought like, oh, well, that must be a really toxic environment. It's not even PvP. There's like, it's, it's just so stupid. This. What is the point of all of this? Like this rating, what, what, what are they going to do with it? Yeah, exactly. I guess they say it's for parents, but like if parents aren't paying attention to the point where their kids are playing the games, then they're not going to start paying attention because your toxicity rating came out like right. parents that are good, good at parenting are are already on top of this you coming out with a toxicity rating doesn't make people better parents call of duty's rated m for mature already so why are kids playing it to begin exactly with? exactly so this whole rating is supposed to, it's, it, honestly the way i look at this this is just grifting and it's like some kind of grifting consulting thing that they're making so that. that they can basically get 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 money from a bunch of companies that you know and not really have to do much work because if you think about it the work is done by the community they yes. don't have to do anything yeah. Yes. Just raking the money for basically virtue signaling, and then, then they race the ESG, I guess. It's got it's SBI, um, Black Girl Gamers, all written all over it. Some type of consultancy yep. Yep. nonsense. It's got it written all over it. So this is why we talked about Sweet Baby Inc. Like, this was the tip 
of the iceberg. This had to, this was just one small piece to a giant puzzle going on in the gaming world. And that's why I'm so thankful that Cabrutus and Sweet Baby Ink Detected really did kind of open a lot of people's eyes to all of this because it's really started to expose a How lot of these Matt things. Walsh that? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Matt oh, yeah, Walsh. Yeah. Matt Walsh yeah. uh, is the first person to ever report on uh, uh, gaming, wokeness and gaming. Right, so we really, I know we appreciate him.